Hey guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a let's play of Guild Wars, uh, since I think it's a great game, but there's not been many let's plays done before, and I think it's a little bit under underappreciated, because, you know, it's not a very conventional game. So, I'm going to be doing this let's play, and it's going to be uh, very story focused, so anyone who's not played it before, I'm not just going to skip through all of the quests and the lore and stuff, I'm going to read it out, uh and do my best with that so that everyone can really get into the story because I figure um, a lot of people are going to be playing Guild Wars 2 soon and uh, this would be quite interesting for you guys to watch so that you can get up to scratch with what's going on in the story and what the world's like and what happened before the second game so uh, I'm also not going to be playing it sort of normally I'm going to be doing a bit of a challenge I'm going to try and complete the whole thing solo so Hopefully that will be quite interesting to watch. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's possible to complete it like that, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot. So Anyway, uh, enough talk. Here's a trailer to get you into it. So, enjoy. When I was a young girl, my father fought in the Guild Wars. He gave up his life, keeping our home safe. Because of his sacrifice, I grew up to know the meaning of the word peace. But now, a new threat rises from the West. A malevolence that seeks to destroy all my father fought for. No mine. Okay, so a lot of the stuff that that trailer touches on, we don't really get into for quite a while in this story, but it's a pretty cool trailer anyway, so I figured I'd just throw it up there. Uh, and it introduces us to a few of the quite um, important characters in the storyline. Uh, that woman speaking was called Devonna, and she was with a ranger called Aiden, and uh, an elementalist called Sin. Alright, so these are the professions. You've got the warrior, who's just your standard... Um, melee guy who runs up and hits things and he can use axes, hammers, swords you've got your ranger who uses the bow and gets a pet the monk who's a dedicated healer uh, the necromancer who's sort of a master of the undead and the dark arts and can summon things you've got the mesmer which is quite a unique profession to guild wars you don't really see this in many other places but uh, she's all about sort of control and um, getting inside people's minds and stuff and then the elementalist who's kind of your typical mage who can use ice and fire and earth and stuff. Uh, for this I'm going to be playing as a warrior because I think that will probably just be the most interesting to watch because these guys kind of just stand there in combat and do stuff but at least as the warrior you're running around a lot. So, uh, we'll pick a male. I'm not really fussed about what we look like. Might as well just go with that hair and 
Uh, that face. That hair. Uh, I don't know, let's go with something a little bit more unique. Let's go with a black guy. It yeah, looks fine to me. You can dye your armor here. It doesn't really matter since you'll be changing your armor soon enough. So I'll leave that and your body scale. Uh, we'll make him as big as possible, why not? Okay, so just pick a random name, which I tested earlier. I know it works, so. In we go. This is the first cutscene. We're at Ascalon. The last day dawns on the kingdom of Ascalon. It arrives with no fanfare, no tolling of alarms. Those who will remember will speak fondly of the warm morning breeze. People carry on with their daily lives, unaware that in a short while, everything they have ever known will come to an end. So there's the char. Scribe? Yes, my lord. These char are relentless, but we shall hold the wall at all costs. Yes, my lord. Take this message to Sir Titus. Go forth and recruit the strongest, the smartest. Bring to me the bravest in all of Ascalon. Find me the heroes who will lead our kingdom to glory. As you command, my king. And yet, yeah, you guessed it, we're one of those heroes. So this is how it all begins. And here we are. Alright, okay. So, this is us. Spawning at the top of the hill in Ascalon. There's a town crier here. Let's see what he's got to say. Excuse me, you're Peter Redhill, aren't you? I think Sir Tidus was looking for you. He said he had some good news. I like good news. Alright, okay, so that's our first quest. A message from a friend. He's just down here. It's a very, very easy quest, so. So she ran around, getting to grips with things. There you are, my friend. I'm glad you are here. I have news that I think you'll appreciate. I've been looking for you everywhere. The king has ordered a new offensive against the Char. This is your chance for glory and for adventure, but you'll need to know more about your craft before going north of the wall. I'll tell you what, travel to the south travel to the southwest gate, which will take you to Lakeside County. I'll have Van the Warrior waiting for you outside. He can show you a trick or two. Thank you, I'm on my way. Okay, so in this game you get uh Areas like this, where you can find real people, these are all real people, like in a normal MMO. But, all the areas where you do the fighting and the exploring are all through these big portal things here. And these, you won't find any real people unless they were put in your party. So, when I leave through here, because I haven't got anyone in my party, it will just be me alone out there. And that's kind of how things work. You go to safe places like these, the towns, meet people and then go out and adventure. So, as you can see this is one of the cities and we're gonna head on out for our first quest. 